funky music. See you guys. Wait, what? Sorry. Hey guys, it's been now. Oh, we last part we got the gravity suit. Oh uh, yeah, by the way, climb up to the top of the room. The uh, this room has some weird climbing thing. You got basically climb from the bottom to the top. It works, but you know, the long climb. Is this the third door in the room? Ugh. Ugh, it takes a whole minute just to clear this room. Oh, you! Oh, thank goodness I landed on that tree. So, in this part, we're gonna do a big exploration thing. Hopefully, hopefully we get we get to it without wasting too much time. Okay, we're up the top, land on the floating platform. Why does this place a flo- Oh my gosh. Why is this place a floating platform? Again, they make you use the wave beam, even though that you require the ice beam in order to reach the door, so what's the point? Don't know. Ugh. We have reached the bottom. Uh, uh, Magmore Caverns. There's a safe station behind us. I'm not gonna go there. Lots of wave beam doors. Uh, going right leads to a section that we require a later item to get. So we're pretty much gonna just skip these guys because I don't feel like fighting them. And we're at the door. Oh, you can't hit me, I'm in a cave. Jump. Keep running. Open the door. Okay. Again, take the jump. You know, you can completely skip those guys. You can land on either of them. I'm gonna skip a bit of time. I'm gonna take about... <laughs> But 17 damage. Dude, I think I took less da- Oh my gosh, I even recovered it. I, I took less damage doing that than taking it the regular way. Oh my gosh, even the screen messed up for a second. This didn't drop like 200 frames. The glass part. I believe in Prime 1 you cannot boost fall on spiderable tracks, but in Prime 2 and Prime 3 they use that uh, mechanic a few times, you know, doing a boost fall off the spider track. Wow, we got it in like a minute. Okay, now we're gonna go run to... I have the odd suspicion that I missed something, but I haven't. I don't know. So, long passages that we must just walk through. Walking past all of these, walking past them all. Take one down, pass it around, walking through all of this. Oh gosh, no, don't knock me off. It's not very nice, mister. You're smelly. Okay, so we're back to the Talon overworld, and we're pretty much going to the ship. Now, you know where we were before, how I said, don't go there straight away, because you need a later item. Yeah, we got that item already. And wasn't that, like, last part? Yeah. Last part I told you not to go to this section because you need a later item and then suddenly you have that item next part, so... Uh, so yeah, if you're in hint mode, sometimes it'll just say something and then it'll say press set to view it. And then it just tells you what room you gotta go to, like it shows you the room. So it kinda gives you the general direction of where you gotta go. Uh, we're gonna go down here. There's also a little walkable tunnel that goes down here, but I'm decided to take the walking path. 
need a morph ball under this. I didn't really explain it much. Oh, by the way, yeah, the morph ball changes as well. Look at it! Yeah! It's all blue! Uh, Space Pyrotosis. Watch the other guy get owned. You are pro. Now die. Oh my gosh, he just, he just suffocated himself. He just went underwater. Now watch this, watch this. I just freeze this guy to death. Ooh, yeah. Uh, so anyway, the missile expansion is up on this ledge. You will need the gravity suit in order to jump high enough to get there. I don't think you need the gravity suit in order to reach the top ledge, but you will need the gravity suit in order to... You don't need the gravity suit, I think, to get past this leg thing. But you need it to uh, get past the uh, place we're going to. We're going into this big smash ship. Or whatever this thing. You'll need the ice beam to go in, at least. So, uh, it's a dark place, and there is a. There is a tunnel you can go into. I'm going to use my thermal visor because it's a bit dark. The thermal blast, you can't tell what beam you'll require for doors. Okay, so we have gotten in here. Uh. Gosh, I can't even see a thing on my screen. Uh. Now, if you spot where we are, good for you. Ugh. Tunnels that look the same. Ah! Turn them off! You can save up on your missiles by firing an ice beam at them. Actually, no. They still take the same amount of shots. Okay, so since that happened, we'll need to give it some power. Yeah, up oh, down the passage. Now get out your scan visor because you will need to scan these. These are not parasites; they are talon crabs. Watch out because they deal a bit more damage than parasites. They're generally the same thing. Hey, look at this big room. So anyway, if you haven't identified, oh gosh, big jump. Uh, if you haven't identified where we are, we are in. By the way, that is an aqua pirate. Aqua pirates are basically space pirates that can breathe on the water. They act exactly the same as flying pirates, except their their fire slow. Their missiles are slow because they're underwater. The other thing is that there's also something down here. Now, what you gotta look for, and so yeah, we are on the frigate Orphan underwater because it sunk and crashed here. Now, of course, there are still a few space pirates that are alive and stuff. Uh, yeah, you gotta find the four, I believe. There's four of these other uh, things. Of course, you can electric stun them underwater. Firing electric blast on the water seems to not completely destroy everything. Oh, gosh. Uh, there's one here. There. And then I think there's one, like, near the top, just to completely annoy you. Now, uh, let's see. You can probably see it from here, maybe. I don't, I don't know. Uh, ah. Uh, for you guys in the comments, never nah, mind. I was, I was gonna ask you a question, but I decided to save you the trouble, so I'm not gonna make you answer stuff. So yeah, there's a load of platforms which you can jump up. I, I, I think actually one of these uh, things are up right, up right here. Can't even see the thing. It's really hard to see what you're doing when you when you're in thermal visor because everything's cold. Up oh, there it is, yeah, at the top. So three near the bottom and one at the top. And by at the top, I mean just up the ledge. There is power source through the door. 
Uh, so yeah, yeah, that was the main reactor where we thought the Parasite Queen, and we're going backwards, so here's the save station, just on the water. On the water save station! Yeah! Uh, the other thing is that we also open the other door, so let's go through that other door. You don't have to shoot these doors to open them, which is really odd. Uh, there are three energy things in these. So super missed all that, and uh, ooh, energy tank number nine. Dude, we got like five left in the game. Uh, speaking of which, yeah, I don't think they told us that we passed the 50 mark, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna have to look for these, uh, thermal things. I believe there's one along the way, and one at the top there, just aqua vines along the way. Yeah, yeah, we took a lift down the elevator, and now we gotta climb up it. Ah, oh, gosh, no! It's really tough to do this, though, because, uh, because you got the vine coming out. And it completely stuffs you up. Uh, note the floating platforms. Can't see as much in the dark. Okay, uh, where is it? Oh, I almost missed it. Damn it. <laughs> it's like, oh, I almost missed it. Ugh. So, it's apparently up there. And then the last one's up the top. Yeah, so if you guys actually, like, know, there's a lot of these sunken temple things in uh, Metroid. Oh my gosh, oh no, no, get back in! <laughs> uh, yeah, because that was one in Super Metroid. This game follows Super Metroid really closely because, yeah, that's, I think that's the influence Retro Studios were trying to do, so they did a lot of things similar to that. Although they introduced the key system, by the way, floating space pirates. Dead space pirates floats on their back. I don't know, they float any way they want, they like. Okay, so we're gonna go in the door. Watch out for the tunnel, because the tunnel is all tunnel -y. Now get out your scan visor because you will need to scan. No, that's just more of a defense turret. By the way, I don't even think those things melt because they don't have an uh, internal sen uh, heating system, you know, it's a machine, so they don't, so they're not extremely hot. I don't know. No, stop selecting that one. Select the other one. Uh, yeah. So we're in this room. Uh, so shoot that one. I believe the third, uh, uh oh. Yeah, that's why we got scanned. Uh, where on earth are they? There they are. It's an aqua drone. These things don't get hurt from. Well, they do get hurt, but they don't freeze, which is a bit of a pain. Freezeless enemies. They, they die quick with the... They're slow and they die quick with the uh, Ice Beam. The Ice Beam is a good weapon, because it's quite powerful. Well, here's the thing, if you go into your thermal body, you can see that the last one's in this little cage thing. And the door opens! You know, I'm really stopping the parts in odd places, because I'm probably not going to get to the save station. Uh, if you also scan this, there's a cordite door, and behind the cordite door is this our expansion number 27! So that's awesome. Uh, other than that, you can freeze these things, I didn't think of that, but sometimes they just get in your way. And then they uh, go into their hiding hole. Uh, we're pretty much just gonna rush out of this place, hopefully. There's nothing... We, oh, nah. We're probably not gonna get to the end. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding. You're, complete, you're completely hogging all the space. Alright. 
I was a bit slow on the missile. Uh, so yeah, here's what you gotta do. Here you gotta. Yep, there's the three. Uh, probably not gonna get outside fast enough. So I'll see you guys next part where we shall not drown to death. See. Ya.